This one's going to be on a command line program um, called CMUS. It's an NCURSE audio player. So let's bust this one out here. And it's an NCURSE, which means, um, what does it mean? Text interface. Okay, so this is a text interface here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is to import your songs in. And how would you do that here? So what you want to do is type in, um, well, hold shift and hit the colon sign. And then type in add and then uh, your directory okay so mine's in my home folder slash music and then you push enter right and it'll load in all your music here so these are all the uh, artists here now they have different views so this one is the first view it's called a tree view but if you have uh, if you want to navigate to the different ones you press one two three you know all the way to seven but the first one is the tree view, second one is uh, the sort view. This is basically um, all your libraries in a alphabetical order, right? Uh, if you want to navigate down, just use the arrow keys up and down like this. Or if you want to go down really quick, you hit the page down or page up key. Right? Page down here really quick, right? Um, or you want to go to the end, you push N, or you hit home to go to the top basic stuff um, what else is there oh yeah if you go on to the next view three this is your playlist four is your queue five is your browser uh, six is your filter seven is your uh, hotkeys so this is good if you forget it um, what I recommend if you just you know starting this out uh, just learn a few basic ones like play pause next and then work your way up from there. Don't try to learn all in one day because I don't you'll be really confused, okay. But in here they have your high keys and they also have your settings at the bottom here. Again, you don't need to mess around with this uh on your first day, maybe later on, okay. But anyway, let's go back to their first view. Um this is kinda like Clementine, you know how they have the artist and album on the side here? So, for example, if I want to, um, let's say we have Christina Aguilera here, and I want to see if she has some other albums, you hit space, and there you go, these are her other uh, albums, all right? And right here, you see that the tracks over here on your right side, if you want to go into the tracks, because right now we're only on her albums, if you want to go into the tracks, uh, you hit tab, and now we're in the, the tracks, and we can select it. So let's say I want to listen to this uh, Merry Christmas song. Push enter. Oops, let me uh, disable the sound there. But you see it's playing uh, this song right here. This is the current song. It always displays your current song right here. And this is the timer that's moving here. And if you want to play the next song, uh, you hit B. See, there's a uh, keys going B. If you want to go backwards, uh, Z, go backwards, All right? Um, what is there? C is to pause, so you pause the song. Press C again to unpause, and press V to stop, and X to play, or you can press Enter to play. That's basically the, the you know the common uh, high keys. <clears throat> now, if you want to. Um, Add it to your queue or playlist. Um, let's start out with the queue first. So let's say I want to add uh, this second song here. What it says uh, this year. So I press E and it adds it to the queue. Now if I switch over to my queue by pressing key four here, right? Adds the first song right there that we added to the queue. If you want to add the whole um, thing, let's tab out of that. And let's say I want to add. Lily Allen or something right here. She has two albums. If I want to add the whole thing, I just press E, and then we switch over to our um, Q, and you see that they have Chris, uh, Christina Aguilera, and then everything else is Lily Allen, All right? So that's how you do the Q there. Uh, if you want to clear anything uh, on your different views, you just type in a uh, whole shift, and do the colon thing, and type in clear. And that will clear in everything, all right. Now that's to add it to the queue. But how about the playlist? The playlist is empty too. So if you want to add it to the playlist, um, 
let's say for example we have Alize here if you want to add this to the playlist uh, all you gotta do is hit Y and switch over to the playlist this is you know everything that we just added again you can clear it here too you hit clear uh, the other way to add let's say you want to add a directory from here you can do that too uh, it's the same thing that I showed you earlier so add and our music folder let's say I'm adding my soundtracks okay so I have my soundtrack folder here add all that sucker in our playlist and there you go you have everything uh, for the soundtracks uh, other things you want to learn is let me switch over to this view here okay so you can understand this um, right here they have this thing was at CR right here on your left side I mean on your right side I mean uh, CR uh, the C stands for continuous so if you're playing a song let's say I play like a Tupac song here all right it'll, it'll play the next song uh, after it's done R is for um, repeat and then S is for shuffle so you can actually toggle these on and off so if I push S this is for shuffle R is for repeat now the C you have to hold shift C alright and that's how you toggle that on uh, so that's how that works so let's turn it back on though C R and S now I'm playing this Tupac song right uh, let's try to get a different uh, artist here um, no not this one here alright so they have this thing right here um, uh, was it this mode where they have uh, all or you push M again artist and album right uh, so M is to toggle between them I like this mode because I don't really uh, seen this on any other audio player uh, before but it's actually really cool let's say you're listening to um, like Mariah Carey right now we're listening to Mariah Carey and let's say I want to listen to just her okay what other songs that she has so I switch it to artist uh, mode here and even if I hit next it'll just try to find all the songs that has Mariah Carey singing it and you see it's just Mariah Carey it's not switching to a different artist and if you hit M again let's say I want the album only so the album is this thing what is this charm bracelet it's just gonna play songs within that album so if I keep pushing next, right, the artist and the album is the same thing. So I like that mode, and that's you switch it with M, all right. And now we switch it to all. It should go on to like a different song, which is which is like Dr. Dre here. So that's how that works. Uh, I like that mode a lot. Another thing that I really like is that uh, I was actually using C Play before this one because I was watching Caddy's video. But C play is um it's not that great. After you use it for like one day you'll figure it out that when you try to switch songs, it takes like a little delay. This one is like gapless. It will play the next song real quick. And the search feature on here is actually better too. So let me show you how to do that. The search feature you hit the slash and then you type in the string that you want. So let's say I want to search for um what was it the Naruto song, my favorite one there you go and then you push enter and then you push enter again if you want to play that song All right so this is the song is playing in yellow uh, let's say you want to search for another one for was it the Lion King <laughs> there you go this is the song push enter and then this is the song that's playing here uh, so searching on here is very quick I like it um, what else is there I need to say I think that's about it uh, so you have the tree view this is your uh, sort of view playlist queue and then the browser is basically you know you browse into your folders not a big deal this uh, filter here this is uh, you know to filter out like different genres or um, time frame the only two high keys that you need to know in here is the space and the enter key okay so your space you have different things I'm not really sure what all these uh, things does yet but uh, you can apply some filters that's all you gotta do in here and in here in the 7 
or, or your settings here you can actually um, you know change the high keys if you want uh, some some of them are not like bounded yet so if you want to change your high keys you can actually delete this and add in like a new high key or whatever uh, up to you all right but play around that later after you get used to with this program now some of you guys were saying why would why should I use this instead of like a GUI program the point of this is to have a lightweight uh, you know audio player like if you have a shitty computer um, that's one reason uh, the other thing is if you use like different distros you know this is not gonna have a lot of dependencies it's a command line so it's like no dependencies and the usage it's like probably like 10 megabytes so you can see there and it loads really quick you see all my tracks here was I have like 7,000 tracks loads in a matter of seconds because it's a terminal app alright uh, so I think that's about it if you want to try it out then try it out okay it's in your repositories and after that you want to quit you push Q and then you push the uh, Y and that's it you quit out of the program so check it out see must